everybody. Uh, I just finished up day 14. So this is the last day of week two of Max 30. Um, so I did pulse and ab attack today since I'm doing that ab uh, maximizer workout calendar with the extra workouts in there. Um, so, you know, it's those are great workouts because, you know, you still get a sweat on and you're still definitely burning some calories and building your strength, but um, it's all low impact, so you're not going to be, you know, straining yourself quite as much as you have during the week. So it really feels like a nice way to get your muscles warm, get your body warm, without being too taxing and still being able to sort of recover. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about today is um, kind of the difference to experience between week one and week two. So this is at least what I've experienced with week one. Um, in terms of soreness and all of that, I was definitely feeling it more in my legs. Uh, if you've ever done Sean T workouts, you know he likes to do a lot of jumping jacks and, and jumping in general. So you use your calf muscles a lot. So the first week I was really feeling it in my legs. Um, my calves were really tight. I was massaging them every night, um, you know, feeling, feeling some pain when I was going up and down the stairs, that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, with any program, you're going to feel sore the most when you first start because it's new and you're not used to the movements and um, you're using your muscles in a different way so obviously you're going to be really sore. I remember when I first did CrossFit and I couldn't walk for like three days or move for that matter at all and it sort of felt like that um, last week when I first started this I was really sore and uh, especially in my legs and trouble walking and um, but with this week, I mean, part of it is you will get used to the soreness, so it's not going to feel quite as bad. Um, and then, you know, your body's getting used to the movements as well, so you probably won't be quite as sore. What I noticed with week two this past week is that I was feeling the soreness a lot more in my upper body. And I think that was just because, I don't know, I'm pushing myself more. Or again, like, that's where I need to build the most strength. I actually have a lot of muscle in my lower body. Um, and so my upper body is where I'm weaker so I was really feeling it with all those like planks and push-up movements this week really feeling it in my chest and my shoulders um, my triceps for sure so it was more of an upper body soreness this week just thought I would touch on that since you know you kind of want to know what to expect um, I mean you are going to continue to be sore with this whole program because that means it's working don't expect the soreness to just like magically disappear it's not going to happen unless you're not working out um, and if you're not getting sore in different areas every day, each week, then you probably need to push yourself a little harder. You might be sort of resting on your um, abilities and not pushing yourself past what you're able to do. And that's the only way you're going to grow and get better. So I'm feeling really awesome finishing up week two. We've got some new workouts in the mix for next week, um, uh, for the next couple weeks, and then we'll be done with month one. I feel like it's flying by, so um, I'm having a lot of fun with this, you guys, and I know you will too when you do it. See you later. Bye.